Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So today we are going to talk about yet another trick of Vedit Math which is related to division. Okay. So let's see how does this trick work. Okay. So now imagine or rather let's take for example that you had to divide 3 by 5. I know this is a small example but this is I am using this example to explain you the trick. So now the next thing what you should be doing in Vedic math is convert this in terms of 5, uh, sorry, in terms of 10. Okay, so if I want to convert this 5 in terms of 10, I will have to multiply this by 2. So if I am multiplying the denominator by 2, two then the definitely the numerator also has to be multiplied by 2. Only then the equality of the fraction will sustain. Okay. So, when I do that, so my answer now becomes 6 upon 10. And now, converting any fraction with a denominator in terms of 10, 100, 1000 is very, very easy. So, we just convert this as 0 0.6. Okay. So, basically, whenever in the denominator, if you have 5, you simply double the numerator and divide it by 10. Let's take another number. For example, uh, let's do 19 by 5. So if that is the case and we have to use the same trick, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 19 into 2 is 38 upon 10. So my answer is 3.8. So I hope this is now making a lot of sense to you all, right? It's quite very, very easy. Okay, uh, let's take another example. Mm, let's take 32 in upon 5. So again, my final answer would be just double of this. That is nothing but 64 upon 10. So that my answer is 6.4. I hope this is very, very easy now for everyone, okay? But you all might be thinking that I actually made a video just for the division tricks related to 5. No. We are going to see this division tricks for any number who can be converted in terms of 10, 100, 1000 when it is in the denominator. So, for example, if we had to do division of 2 upon 25, now, in order to convert 25, we can't convert it to 10 because it is lesser than uh, 25. We are going to convert it in terms of 10s or 100s or 1000s. So, whichever is closer to 25. So, what is closer to 25 is 100. So, how do I convert this denominator in terms of 100 is by multiplying it with 4. So, if I am doing that, I am going to obviously multiply the numerator as well. So, my now answer is 8 upon 100 and my final answer is now very very simple it is 0 0.08 students if you're liking this video then please go ahead and hit the like button because that definitely gives me a lot of encouragement in making these kind of videos also don't forget to share these videos with whoever you think might be you know listening to uh, might be wanting these kind of tricks also a lot of students have asked me that if they want a proper book of vedic math then what kind of book they should refer then the link of that kind of a book or rather the book's name is actually vedic math for all ages the link of that book which is available on amazon is been given in my description you can definitely go ahead and check that out because some people are very much interested in having a hard copy along with them so if that is the case with you you can go ahead and check it out okay so now let's continue with this so, if we have uh, 12 upon 25, I'm not going to use the same showing all these methods now. Let's do this orally. So, now we know that the numerator has to get multiplied by 4. Okay, so 4 into 12 is 48 upon 100. Why 100? Because I'm going to multiply the numerator, denominator also by 4. So, my final answer is 0 0.48. Now, let's see. What happens when you want to convert a denominator which is 125 and let's say my numerator is 11. If I want to do this division, then what do I do? 
I want to convert this in terms of 100, 10s or 1000. So 10 and 100 is not possible because they are lesser than 125. So we are going to convert uh, 125 to 1000. And how do I do that is basically I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 8. Because when I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 8, my denominator by default becomes 1000. So I get 88 upon 1000. So my final answer is 0 0.088. Okay, so this seems to be quite interesting, right? I hope it is really, really easy and I hope you all start practicing these kind of tricks because trust me, no amount of tricks will work unless and until you put them in practice in real life. Okay, so now if we have to divide 101 upon 125, then what do we do? We simply multiply the numerator by 8. So my answer is 808 upon 1000. That gets me 0 0.808. Pretty decent, right? Also students, now the time comes where I will summarize this. Uh, actually, let me tell you one more trick for that. So imagine that you had to do the division of 6 upon 250. You can think what you should be multiplying this with. Yes, you all guessed it, right? We will multiply this by 4. And when I multiply this by 4, my denominator becomes 1000. So 6 into 4 gets you 24. So my final answer is 0 0.024. Now, let's look for another number. What will happen when I have to divide 24 upon 250? Okay, if I want to do that, so I will multiply this again with 4 and 4 so my answer is 76 upon 1000 so again my answer now becomes 0 0.076 now let's see what will happen when i have to do division of 12 upon 500 so now again i will multiply this by 2 because then only my den denominator becomes 1000 so, I get 48 upon 1000. So, my final answer is 0 0.048. Okay. So, I hope these tricks are now very, very clear. So, as a quick revision, we will just say that when we have to divide any number by 5, we multiply the numerator by 2 and my denominator then becomes 10. Okay. If I want to divide any number by 25 I multiply the numerator by 4 and the denominator then becomes 100 if I want to divide any number by 125 I multiply the numerator by 8 and then my denominator becomes 1000 if I want to multiply any any number by 250 I multiply the numerator by 4 and my denominator becomes 1000 and if I want to divide any number by 500 I multiply the numerator by 2 and then divide it by 1000. So I hope these tricks are pretty much clear to everyone. And all, as always, I'm going to put up, put up a question over here. The answer of that you will mention in the comment section. But please understand while answering, you guys will be using the trick mentioned in this video only. Okay. So tell me what will be the answer of... Um, 9 divided by 125 okay quickly put that in the comment section so that's it for this video i will see you in the next one thank you